Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? So today we're going to be talking about how to make a start menu screen for a FPS game as FPS first person shooter. Um, you guys are probably wondering, you know, like, uh, what, 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 are, what are we going to be doing basically? Um, I'm going to make two tutorials, one for FPS, which is meant for like when you're locked in first person, and then another one for just in general of a camera screen that you can just use. So this is gonna be for first person. So if you wanna just feel free to do this, go ahead. Um, uh, if you wanna watch the other one that will be uploaded right after this, feel free and wait and watch that one, which will just talk about how to do it without the unlock the screen. Um, it's kind of the same, to be honest. It's really simple, but ours is more advanced because what we're doing is we're gonna be having music and music playing after so um to get this started let's just show you so first of all we're gonna load up and hope you guys are enjoying the videos i got my live count down there if you just look at that but um so if you can hear that let me i kind of have it so you have all these things and it's on a screen like this and when you hover over a button like play you play sounds like that don't play a sound and then click it boom automatically in first person and I need to fix some stuff with my game I've been working on some stuff because right now it's kind of broken where um, I mean you got the fast the running and everything like that but um pretty fire to be honest it's pretty sick I got hella stuff coming and then you know if you were to turn around and boop, it'll come because <laughs> what happens is it's just a little messed up so let's get into this video um if you guys are wondering about if to make more parts like like an option that says text and all this stuff I need to fix some stuff with it um and I'll leave a text in the description or like I'll make an updated video because right now the only option is doing play because I totally don't know what's going on. But let me, um, let's just get right into this. Okie dokie. So there's a few things about this. Um, we're going to have the main menu. Okay. And then, uh, we'll have the play button and it kind of looks off screen right now, which is kind of weird. Um, that's weird. Normally it wasn't like that. Uh, but yeah, the play button and then we will have the camera part. Now, um, wait, camera part. Why is that? Oh, that's, that's weird. So, um, basically, what we're doing is, let me show you. So, you're going to get a camera part, and I'm going to put it in just one of the things, and you're going to leave it in workspace, okay? So, workspace, um, once you leave it there, what it is, is like how you saw in the menu, it's going to be showing the preview of what. So, like, this is it. This is basically it. Um, so, I am actually need to move my webcam real quick so you guys can see everything. So, give me one second. Okay. So, you're going to get camera part. It's going to be named this right here in the thing. And you're going to go to move. And you'll be able to see it like this. Now, it's already going to be positioned sort of. So, you're going to have to fix this because I don't know the, really the direction. So, let's say... It's heading north. Where's the direction? So if you go in view, people are also wondering, how can I see this kind of stuff in properties in Explorer? Go to view, click these two right here, and you'll find that. So where is this at? I think it's view selector. There we go. So let's say right. Okay, so you're going to position it right like this. And it's going to be heading in the, oh, God, the x-axis that way. So get it positioned and right. So let's say if you're like this, left and stuff, go right and um you'll figure it out but i don't know just just mess around with that i don't know i'm not the best with directions okay so uh the camera parts me a workspace so don't worry about that um once you get the model just ungroup it put in camera part now you're gonna get a menu it's gonna be called menu in here and there's gonna be a few things okay first of all you're gonna put it in starter gui so don't worry about that um i need to double check if i had anything else i'm pretty sure this is all uh yeah you should be good okay uh, start back. Start player. I should look this on. Okay. So now, um, 
it's you're gonna turn enabled off. You can turn it on and look at it like that, but you want it off because there's a few things and you'll realize that in a second. Um, you're also gonna put reset on spawn off because this gen this menu is gonna be for when someone joins the game. It will only pop up when they join the game. So we're gonna do round systems and stuff, and we're gonna want that to not pop up because it will just be weird. So you're playing it every time they just join the game. So now you have that. Um, there's gonna be a button sound. It's gonna be like that, and that's gonna be the button sound. If you want to change that, feel free to just open up your uh, Roblox Create Hub and go to the audio and search up buttons, and you'll find that. Um, now, there's also gonna be the main and play button. Um, inside main, we're gonna talk about a few things real quick. So, we're getting the user input service, and then the getting the camera. We're creating a camera, um, and then the local players and you. Um, so those are gonna be the locals, and then the camera part. We're gonna be doing this where so player character, camera type, C frame. So we're gonna put the cam your player camera, um, like your view of your camera when you join the game is gonna be that camera part. So then uh, mouse behavior, we're not gonna worry about that. So uh, oh, that's what I added. So yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, that's what I added. Okay, so the, I was fixing this script a lot when it came to first person. So, uh, firstly, I forgot to mention, uh, in starter pack, or starter player, you're going to want to change your camera mode down here, okay, this thing, and put it to lock first person, because that's when you spawn, it will be only in first person. So keep that there. Um, next thing is... Uh, we're gonna so what that was is it's grabbing the input service and it's making so the mouse behavior when you're in first person you can't move your mouse you know um you're gonna be able to change that so now when you're in the menu it's gonna be normal so now you can move your mouse around so that's how the like you can move your mouse around in the gui and then when you spawn you can't um so that script enable frame is gonna be visible as in the normal frame then when it comes to the button it's enabling the button um we got a lot a few things here okay so I made this different. This is if you guys want to do this. You can remove it. I think I'll show you how. So we're getting the current camera, of course, and we're doing the sound as the button sound. So when playing local buttons, okay, so we're going to talk about this second. So local button right here. So when the mouse enters the, um, the, uh, the play button, like how it did the sound, that's what this is, and it's playing, uh, where is that at? right here, button sound. Then we're doing another one where we're going to mouse button click and the camera type, it's gonna just disable everything. So this is when you're out of the function. So just get out of the GUI. Now, um, this is where we're getting the locals. So local ID, this one. So this ID is the one you're gonna be using for um, the start menu. Right now I have it as COD, Black Ops, because why not? So that's going to be the one ID if you want as the audio when you're just in the menu. And then uh, this is like the format for sounds. It's kind of weird. Um, then we have the second one, which is going to be after you click. And it's going to play that sound um, that is just any of the sounds you want to use. So just feel free to get those both. And you'll figure you'll figure out what audios you want. You, you don't have to do this. This is your choice. This is how I did it is where it's going to be playing the sound, which is going to be the first one. And then... Right when you click it, it's going to stop the first one and play the next one. If you don't want to do that, literally you could just remove this script right here and you're all good. Um, but yeah, so let me just show you again, give you a brief definition of what's going on. And I'll open this one and this one. And it's pretty simple. I'm just going to have to double check this works on another like set so you guys can have this in my life. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So. Okay. So you can hear that. That's the button sound. Now, if you guys, like I said, if you want to add like text and stuff, I'm going to have to make another video on that because it's, I'm just, I've, to I've had a time where I was doing this and I couldn't figure it out because it's weird. It's just like, wasn't pulling up the frame that I was making. So yeah. Um, but so there you go. And then now it plays the song. 
So that's pretty much how that works and you're automatically put into first person and this is going to be used for um, lots of reasons like the, you know, when we want to just be put in that. So uh, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. Um, if you guys want more, just let me know. There's a lot of stuff coming. Like, don't even worry about it. I'm making jetpacks. These people want me to do all these other stuff. Vibe game coming soon. Um, but yeah, watch the other video after this. So let me just uh, double check that everything works. And I'm going to quickly just uh, get this out for you guys. Okay, perfect. So I literally just did it. Um, you're going to grab this. Uh, let, me, let me just actually do it with you guys real quick. Just because why not. So you're going to grab this. Um, you can read this if you want. You don't have to. This is for people who just grab it for no reason. Go to workspace. <laughs> and you're going to drag that to workspace, like I said. Grab the menu. Put it in starter GUI. Okay. And then this is if you want to do it. I don't. I'm going to just test it real quick without locked so you can see what I mean. Because I think it won't break. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it won't break. But um, just like in classic. So we'll keep that classic and just show you. Because I don't. This is a tycoon that I don't want to be you know, whatever. So this works either way. And then we're going to grab this camera part and I'm going to put it right up here. But let me see if I was right about this. So this is top, back. This is right. So then let's see. Because if I was, this is kind of funny. Oh, but I don't know because I'm just stupid. So let's just put it like that. Oh yeah, I'm so stupid. It uh, Don't do not do that. <laughs> so, um, Let's hope it's not the way. If it's that way, then we'll flip it around. But um, then uh, what you're going to do, it would be kind of cool, actually. I might use this. I don't know yet about, like, if I'm going to be using it or not. Um, but so now i got the camera part. Let's put it like that. You can also put it upside down. Let's hope it doesn't go into the sky because if it doesn't, I'm going to flip it around. Where is that? Oh, there it is. There we go. So let's just hit play. Watch this. Um, you're going to load in. Damn, I went to the sky. We're going to refix that because I want this kind of be cool. <laughs> so my bad. So grab that and flip it one more time around. Perfect. Hit play. Okay. Sorry, that was really stupid. Um, then we hit play. <sighs> that. Pretty dope. Works. And it played, boop, and our had you spawned like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you guys get a little sneak peek of the Tycoon th Episode Three coming. <laughs> Looks retarded, but uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how you start a characters too soon enough. So um, yeah, I hope you guys did like that video. Um, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna make another one right now on making another start screen just for like random stuff, and you guys can figure that out yourself. So yeah, um, please enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.